Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, as you guys can see, we are back in MLB 9, MLB 9 Innings 2024. Wow, that was such a mumble jumble baloney stuff. But anyways, we're back. We're opening packs. We got a SIG pack. We got premium trainer tickets. We got to turn on Do Not Disturb. We got more trainer tickets. Um, goal trainers, that might be a good terminology. And without further ado, I think we should just start up. So, first things first. They have announced the newest update that will be occurring in, um, on the 28th of March. We found the brand new skills that are going to be released into the game. As well as the new, um, you know, let me pull it up so I'm able to talk correctly about what is occurring. So we found out the new, um, there's a prime. We found the new, come on, figure it out, Supremes. That's the word, Supremes. We found out who the new Supremes are. They are Mariano Rivera, Bob Gibson, Dennis Eckersley, Eddie Murray. And Joe Morgan. Okay. And let's see who this prime is. Carl Pavano. So. We got those new. Um, there's another prime. Whoa. That's sick. Um, with the prime look. Um, so that's the new. Um, oh, what's it called? Supremes. Okay, new title screen, yeah, sure, whatever. Let's see who this prime is. It's uh, Daniel Hudson. Okay. Uh, two more from the Silvers. Uh, they're putting in the 2024 season. Sure. So that schedule's in. All right, big deal. Um, some more jerseys. Implements of the new MLB rules. This, I think, is interesting. Is that they will be adding a tiebreaker rule but it's only to league mode. I think it should have been the tiebreaker rule to like club, ranked, all those type of things. League mode will always continue. So I don't like this. I think they implemented this into the wrong mode. Um, but yeah, that's just my takes on it. Um, the new historic players. Let's see. Mariano's a 72 base overall. Bob Gibson's a 77. Dennis Eckersley's a 71. This is the Supreme cards itself. Eddie Murray's a 76. And Joe Morgan's a 79 base overall. So. Mariano's year is 08. Gibson's 68. Eck is 90. Eddie Murray gets 2. 82 with the Orioles and 90 with the Dodgers. Joe Morgan gets 3. 75 with Cincinnati, uh, 71 with Houston, and 82 with the Giants. Okay, now they're adding new skills and improving skills that are currently in the game. Um, this gold pack is being opened. Doesn't matter what I get, honestly. So, um, yeah, Elvis Andrews, big whoop. Um... So, they're changing up some skills and implementing new skills as well. So, some of the new skills that they are implementing is, uh, on the batter side, a legend skill. It's called hard hitter. This skill basically says, increase extra base hits in proportion to the basic pow, power of a hitter. Stat, extra base hits will increase additionally when the hit timing is perfect. So now that hit timing thing comes into play because, well, mainly in like league mode and all that stuff, when you get a perfect hit, because that timing thing's been pretty interesting, especially when I've used it or seen it, like I would hit a ball perfect and it'd go foul. That was just my third prime. Hello? Yep. Zach Greinke. Okay, now it's time to see all these uh, primes that I got. So it was Daniel Hudson, Carl Pavano, now Zach Greinke. So, 
Carl Pavano is a new prime. Okay, I thought I already had him, but I guess not. Uh, two Daniel Hudson, so he will remain unlocked. And Zach Grinke, I don't have his uh, Diamondbacks prime. All right, so that's cool. Um, I'll take that, you know. So that's um, that uh, extra base hit or hard hitter legend skill. That perfect timing thing's now being uh, cared about more, which is good to see. Um, now gold, gold skills. We have super sub, increase the hit rate on the first at bat when pitch hitting in a tied or losing situation. I mean, you know what this sounds like? It sounds like I can throw this onto pinch hitters, which I don't even care about because I don't have them. This skill sucks. I hate this skill. This skill just is not like good at all because it's not useful. Strengthening the strength, however, is an interesting one. Increases power and eye. Additionally, increases extra base hit and decreases strikeout rate when facing opposite hand pitchers. So you're telling me if I'm using Curtis Granderson and I'm facing someone who's throwing out Garrett Cole that this is going to be increasing extra base hit and decreasing strikeouts? That's pretty cool. I like that. And then a silver skill. A silver skill. Do we like really care about it? I'll tell you about it. It's overcoming weakness. Oh, that's not what I meant to open. Okay, so... I just hit the wrong thing, and my um, recording stopped on the original thing, but I still have both going, so we're good. No need to worry. Um, so, silver skill, overcome weakness, increases the lowest stat. If there are two or more lowest stat values, increases the leftmost stat. So I think that's just saying, like, if there are two stats that are really low or tied for the lowest... The leftmost stats. Let's just say you've got a guy with 60 speed and fielding. Like Wade Boggs. Let me show you actually Wade Boggs. Good luck there. Nice. Wade Boggs here. 62-62 speed and fielding. That means his speed, from what I'm taking from this, will be increased the most. Not fielding. Now we have pitching skills. So, Legend Skilled, Workhorse, increased stamina stat and consumes less stamina, increase the chance of an easy out in proportion to the basic stamina stat. So it sounds like this is going to be a pretty good skill for Legends, because Legends always have that high stamina, okay? Um, as I start to open up my regular premium packs. Then we got two gold skills that are new. Uh, elite Closer, which just decreases the opponent's hitter's average and increase strikeout rate until the end of the inning if you take the mound as a closing pitcher. Here's the thing I see with this. This is decent for both. This is good for closers, right? Because they'll always come in, almost always, they'll come in in closing scenarios. But also, this could be a decent third skill on a setup man if they come in. And get like a six out save if you score a bunch of runs and all that type of stuff. But it's interesting that it's only working when it's a closing scenario. So like if your closer comes in in a tied game, it doesn't work. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Then next we have ground baller. Increases the ratio of ground balls and decreases slugging. The higher the fielding stat, basic stat, great increase in development of catchers and infielders, the more gets cut off. But the more blank it has, let's see what this says. The more powerful the effect it has. So I feel like this is a good one for someone who has like bat breaker as a trainer. Because bat breaker increases ground ball rates. And then silver skill, pace setter, increases location and break, consumes less stamina. Just sounds like that one uh, silver skill. Okay. Then the improvement of the current skills. Cleaning up your mess now becomes 
increases the chance of an easy out if the runner on the base is caused by a pitcher's self-inflicted mistake. The effect strengthens as there is more as there are more base runners caused by the pitcher's self-inflicted mistake. Okay. So pretty much if you give up base runners, it's going to care about it or it's going to be more of a thing. Whatever. You don't want to give up base runners in this game anyways, so kind of doesn't matter. I'll put away pitch. Now becomes when the skill is activated, the probability of a strikeout increases even more. That seems just kind of boring and basic, but it's better than throws a kill shot with fixed chance in two strike situations. Greatly increases the chance to strike out when you throw a kill strike or a kill shot. Kind of just repeating the same thing over and over. So, whatever. So those are the new skills. There's a couple of them that I care about, right? I care about uh, ground baller a bit. I care about workhorse, especially on legend starters. Um, I care about strengthening the strength and hard hitter. That's pretty much it. Um, then you got in-game UI improvement. Sure. All that type of graphic uh, UI stuff. Uh, wow, two diamonds from the five golds. Then new item added. This I never really understood. I actually pulled one of the diamonds. That's sick. It is the basic stat adjust ticket will be added. Bronze basic stat adjust tickets. Stat changes 1 to 2. Silver is 2 to 3. And gold is 3 to 4. So I don't know really what this is about. One, ran one random stat among the basic stats will increase while another random stat will decrease by the same amount. The item can only be used for diamond or black diamond players. The item cannot be item it cannot be used on players given as defaults. Okay, sure. Um uh, when when used again on the same player, the points will be consumed and the previous adjusted amount will be reset. It does not affect the amount of the grade increase. Okay. Wow, it's a lot of diamond possibilities. I get it. So pretty much you would just want to use this on someone if you want to increase, like, if they have a... Like here they're showing it, using it on Mike Trout 2023, decreasing 3 speed and increasing 3 eye to the base stat. Interesting. And then you can reset the changes. Sure, whatever. Um, I think that's interesting, of course. The chance of it actually working is very low. And actually being favorable instead of just uh, decreasing power and increasing like speed or fielding. I mean, yeah, we want that. Um, new City Connect uniforms. Mariners, Orioles, Pirates, Reds, Braves, Rangers. Um, sure, and then you can get them w by winning the World Series with that team. Whatever. Um, and then improved improvement of player stats calculation method. The method of calculating batter's con and field abilities will be improved. The method of calculating player stats with insufficient regulation innings or regulation plate appearances will be improved. So, like, if someone hits, like, 500, but they only had two at-bats, they'll be like, okay, well, they hit 500, but there's only two at-bats. They won't care that much. The method of calculating player stats during shortened seasons will be improved. Interesting. Improvement of player stats will apply to newly added players from March 2024 onwards. Another thing. Further details will be provided in the developer notes. Sure. Okay. Then next we have others. Prime players will be added to the list of players available on my free agent. Fix the issue where the gameplay is delayed when pitching in the RBI mode. The image of Mike Judd on the title screen for battles and special modes will be updated. Okay, so that was a lot. But the only things we care about, really, the stat thing, which I think is kind of like weird, because I don't know how effective that'll be. There's also the new skills, which I told you my thoughts on the skills. Uh, the new Supremes, which, again, I won't care because it's not a Mets player that I... There's no Mets guys that I'd care about, let alone any Mets. Uh, but, yeah, so that's the update. 
as we get a diamond here. Let's see who it is. And Mundo Sosa. I love using him for Phillies and uh, Cardinals. Um, but yeah, so that's that new update. That was a lot. I know. Give me one second, actually. Okay. So yeah, that was a lot that we just went through. Hopefully you guys understand it. If you don't, I probably don't understand it either. But definitely leave it down below in the comments um, in case I or someone else can possibly help you. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't really know what else to say about it. It's interesting. It's an interesting aspect, aspect of like the new skills they're trying to add and the players and all the other stat amp tickets, whatever. It's interesting stuff. Um, that's uh, pretty much all I've got to say. I don't really... I don't really know what else to say about it because I don't really know what else to think about it, to be honest. So, yeah. Anyways, now focusing up because this video is going to be incredibly long and I do apologize for that. Um, when they come out with this, they're going to reset the whole premium skill change to get mileage thing. And when they do that is when I will start to work on my signatures that I have. So first things first, I'll be working on Cliff Floyd, trying to get Cliff Floyd into my lineup. Ouch. Then I will be working on, after he's finished, I will be working on Howard Johnson. I'm trying to get Howard Johnson into my lineup. Sorry. There it is. I got it. There's some like splinter or something in my arm. But I got rid of it. So. That's uh, pretty much it. With the whole like working on players. Um, now to baseball news. Carlos Rodon's a Padre. I believe I talked about that. Blake Snell's now a Giants. So now the Giants are all of a sudden like. How'd they get everybody? They got Chapman. They got Snell. I don't know. I don't know how they're getting all these guys. There's a prime next to the diamond. So no diamond prime like last time, but our fourth prime of the video. And it's uh, Jared Washburn, who I believe is a dupe. And we got Richard Blyer. Um, so that's our fifth prime. That is our fifth prime today. This is absurd. And it's all like... Not not the same guy. It's all new guys. What in the world is going on? Like, this is crazy. These, these this luck is. Um. So he was Johnny Damon. So Jay. I also have him in gold. So that's good. Um. So he'll be left for combos. Then we got. Jared Washburn, another J. Also, a guy I already have. I figured that I had them both. Um, so, now 30 team select packs. Again, we're always going to be with the Giants here. Let's go to team select pad, gods, and we pull a diamond. Okay. And three golds, so four... 54 goals, that is, and then that is four, so that's six, 208. Let's see what we get. It is Brandon Crawford. Okay, two Cuadros, three Crawfords in total. Uh, now 20 more. Let's see what we got here. We get three golds, so this is now 57 golds and... Seven and eight is fifteen. Okay. And the last ten we get. No diamond here. It is ten silvers. Okay. And vintage? No, no vintages. Okay. That's fine. 
The Giants have a fan. Well, yeah, right now they have Willie Mays. Okay, yeah, sure. So I wanted to make sure that, like, there's an actual chance to pull a vintage player. So. One. Well, let's just see. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. And then pitchers, you got, yeah, nine and ten total. Yeah, okay, cool. Just wanted to make sure. Um, now it's time to do more combos. I'm going to have a lot of prime combos to do. You might be like, well, Patrick, why do you do prime combos and not upgrade? Right? I know YouTubers who do upgrades. Um, just because I want to get one of every single prime. And once I get one of every single prime, then is when I'll start to do upgrades. Just as simple as that. I want to be able to have like that entire prime collection, which is going to take ages. But until I get to that, that's why I'll do combos simple so yeah that's pretty much it um let's see so my team i have started uh putting that diamond trainer on uh curtis granderson that i pulled last video and i um he has hit l l uh, fewer home runs this week and has now been in like over, like an average hitter, not like the my best hitter, um, but yet I've been uh, in. Um, but yet I've been in like diamond three from like Tuesday to today, barring like a couple of hours here and there when like I've been in platinum. I've like stayed in diamond for the entire time, so I don't know what that's about, but it's something. Um, now 26 ultimate packs. I hope to have enough room and not have to, uh, open another, uh, do some more combos. Oh, there's a Matt Conforto. That's cool. I mean, I can't use them, unfortunately, but it's still cool to pull a diamond Met. Um, so here we got... Oh yeah, I forgot that we also have a prime pack to open up. So I got that from the uh, spring training opening day shop. This thing. Which I have 500. Can I get anything from here that I can actually open up? Um, not a player upgrade ticket. Um, I'll just do a prime pack and then a vintage pack. So I have two prime packs to open up today just to add on to the primes ultimate team select pack we're going giants we've used four already and we've pulled one diamond so now we're at five no we've used six total and we are one for six in terms of diamonds so um now we're gonna do what's four seven nine ten tw okay so we, yeah we'll have enough room good so, uh, actually, let's just make sure I get all my exchanges in. Oh, I was one off, but I can do a gold. Oh, that's not what I meant to open. So, just got all my train or exchanges done. Four diamond packs. Let's see what we can get from this. We get no primes, no legends. Not that surprised. Uh, we did pull a giant, not... I mean, it's not like we're going to open up a team select diamond pack and choose the Giants. Um, yeah, so we'll do them first, and then we'll do the diamond player selective packs. So we get these three diamond ones, and it's 34, and no vintages or primes or legends, so that's cool. Uh, team select pitcher batter... We'll just go pitcher. I mean, it's not like... We'll go batter, because they have the Melot. So this is now 35. And we get Prime Vintage Legend. Nothing. It's all right. Now, two Diamond Player Select Packs. Okay, we don't see a Diamond Prime there. Again, one more try at this first one. And uh, no Diamond Prime or Diamond Vintage, so... We'll do uh, Milton Bradley, sure. 
And then one more. We do not see a diamond prime or vintage there or legend. I don't even know if you can pull legends from this. I doubt it. Uh, we don't see another one from here. So we'll do uh, another giant. Why not? Jason Schmidt. So uh, now we got two prime packs. Let's see if we can uh, not pull any dupes. Doubt it, but, you know, there's always a chance. Let's see who this is. First one is uh, a maze. Joe Mays. Um, I must see if I have that prime. I don't really know if I do or not. Um, let's see the second one. Bronson Arroyo. I don't know if I have them. Uh, let me just check them both. Name. Okay, so I don't have Arroyo. Cool. Now let's look at uh, Joe Mays. I don't have Joe Mays. Okay, so two new primes there. I'll take that. Uh, now I have, uh, we're not going to use the premiums, as I said. We'll just use the uh, premium trainers and all that stuff. Nope, don't want to do that. Uh, again, I, another week I haven't pulled a diamond trainer. Um, I'm starting to feel like pulling diamond trainers themselves not like from the premiums are impossible but let's see what we get from the six premium trainers uh bat breaker okay i can throw that on somebody and leading hitter sure then whatever all right now 13 gold trainers uh looking for some just some Special trainers to throw on pitchers. We get bat breaker. Okay, position break for reliever. Um, power hitter. It's pretty not bad. I can throw that on somebody. And then all oh, whatever. Let's try these last three. And then whatever. Okay, so now I have another signature pack to do. I mean, oh, I forgot these three ranked coins. I got a premium skill change ticket. That's nice. Um, but yeah, so now it's time for a signature pack. Um, we know my luck with signature packs. Again, I'm doubting it's going to continue. There's virtually, like, no chance that it continues. But still, Mets are the highest teams that I've pulled in terms of signature cards since I started recording my odds. Um... Let's just see who this is in three, two, one. It is. Okay, it's an Atlanta Brave. Right division, wrong team. The Braves. I have not pulled the Braves, so that is a new team to add to the selection. Michael Harris. 70 overall is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, so. Let's go by type. How many. So I got one, two, so I have four SIGs right now. Maybe during a double mileage, I'm able to get another one so I can do two SIG combos, but so I save the diamonds for a diamond combo itself. Um, so yeah, that's going to be it for this video. I pulled a bunch of primes, bunch of primes. I mean, I also have a bunch of diamonds to go through, but so yeah, bunch of primes, open a SIG pack, didn't pull a team SIG. <coughs> At this point, big deal, because you know, I've just got so many. I, the only unfortunate thing is that I didn't pull a relief pitcher so that I can't do the, um, uh, whatchamacallit, I can't do the deal that I was going to do or the giveaway that I would do when I get uh, one of those relievers. But one of these days, because probability has it bound to happen eventually. So until that day, we must wait. Now I've pulled every single um, SIG card in the NL East since recording besides the Phillies. I'll actually just go through and tell you who I've pulled. So... Since I started recording, now remember, this is also um, including 
the special sig where there was the three i did each team it's the second daniel vogelbach 2022 that's been in that same spot bottom middle um i added each as one even though i only chose one which was the a um so i've gotten one blue jay one twin one astro one a two angels three mets one marlin one national one Brave, one Brewer, two Cardinals, one Diamondback, and two Giants for a total of 18 signature cards since I started recording. Um, one of those signature cards was also a Diamond. That Diamond came from a combo, not a pack. Um... That's crazy odds. I'm just going to say that. Cool. This is going to be my last combo. And it is going to be an all diamond combo. No diamond prime option. But that's okay. So yeah. I'm going to thank you guys for watching this video. As we pull Felix Bautista to end it up. We got Zach Davies. Thought I'd call my shot. And I was wrong. So I got this a prime combo to do. And then you got that Johnny Damon over there too. And then all the vintages to do as well, as well as the Michael Harris sig. So yeah, I'm going to thank you guys for watching this video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Next week, do I have a surefire? I mean, next week is double mileage. So do I have a sig pack from anything? Where is this? Club store? No, that will not be available next week. That will be available the week after. So... Alrighty guys, I'm gonna thank you guys for watching and I will see one second. This is no big deal. I'm not gonna open the one premium pack now. Um is it this one? No, that's just my get it choosing my diamond prime, which is most likely going to be Pete Alonso. Um oh Okay, I do have a SIG pack for next week. So I will have two SIG combos, barring anything crazy occurring. Um, but yeah, so that's going to be it for this video. Peace!